Tigers rush four, but they flush him and sack him. That Clemson pass rush imposes itself. Miles Murphy joined by Carter. Big, long defensive linemen do not have to wait long to hear their names called in the NFL draft. What's up, everybody? My name's Ken Swanson. This is Sean Barber. About to break down Miles Murphy, the defensive end out of Clemson. This is presented to you by Miller Lite. Barber, Miles Murphy, what you think? Man, I think he's the second coming of Arden Key. Arden Key was drafted. Uh, the Raiders went up early and got a guy. Yeah. I think Miles Murphy, if he gets in the right scheme on the defense side of the ball, this guy can be an immediate impact 10 sack. I think he could be a 10 sack guy his rookie year if he gets in the right schematic scheme. Yeah, he had an exceptional 2021 season. It was a little bit more up and down in 2022. There's some questions about him, but man, there's some impressive stuff on tape. Let's take a look. Daniel swarmed and sacked. This time it's the Clemson pass rush getting after the quarterback. Big Miles Murphy like a freight train. Miles Murphy is the prototypical size for a defensive end. He's going to come off the ball very early. He's going to come off the board in the draft very early. This young man has um, elite strength, talent. He's, he's built the right way. Um, man, this, this young man, he looks... He looks the part, man. He looks like a starting NFL defensive end playing at Clemson. Mm -hmm. um, he just, he, he was always meant to be in the NFL. He's just been waiting to get there. You know, we look at guys that Steve Spagnuolo typically prefers. He likes these guys that are, you know, over 260 pounds, that are 6'4", six, 6'5", six, plus, have the long arms. You know, but a lot of those guys typically tend to be pretty stiff. Yeah. Miles Murphy is not as stiff as the typical 6'6", 268 pound defensive end that you typically see. He's a guy that can run the arc up a little bit. Um, you know, he's got a few pass moves to complement his ability to get upfield and turn a corner. And he's shown some ability to work off that, build a pass rush plan and counter inside. You know, he's got, you know, a developed pass rush plan uh, as, as an edge rusher. You know, he looks like a little bit of a uh, Canard Lang, a little Simeon Rice, a little, like, you know, a little throwback. A guy from my, uh, maybe a Michael Strahan. Mm -hmm. I mean, he, he carries himself like a true defensive end, plays against the run, and whenever he's able to get into that wide nine and really pin his ears back, he is hunting the quarterback. He knows how to get after the quarterback. Like you said, he has moves, counter moves, um, goes speed to power, power to speed, can window rush, knows his position, never gives up leverage, an awesome job of just tracking down, tracking down the quarterback, um, plays his position uh, better than almost anybody else does in this year's draft. You know, like as a pass rusher, you know, like I think you know, there's there's a consistency issue. You know, you're not gonna see him be as, you know, a consistent game in, game out as a pass rusher. And, you know, that's something that he's gonna have to continue to develop. But I think the floor is high because I think he's a very good run defender. Yes. And like, I think that's something that you're really, you know, going to hang your hat on if you're looking at a Miles Murphy, a guy that's going to be able to play the runs, be gap sound, can be assignment sound. He's got that length and power to be able to hold up extremely well, trying to set a good edge. Um, you know, I think those are the things that you're really interested in him. Uh, you know, it, it, that's 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 really valuable, and that is going to allow him to see the field and get the rush reps that he, you know, he wants and he, he needs. You know, to to continue to develop that rush plan. In the NFL and in any level, playing the run is an attitude. Mm. You cannot coach a guy to have an attitude. I can coach where to place your hand. I can coach uh, hand fighting. I can coach different. Uh, pass rushing moves to make you a better pass rusher. But most guys, when they get to the league, if they're not willing to play the run with leverage, with power, aggressing, with grit, with a little nasty streak, usually they just don't survive long in the NFL. Well, I think he plays hard. Um, I, you know, and then you see there the play identification skills that you kind of saw from that too. You know, he's good sniffing these plays out and you see the effort to be able to kind of close and make some plays here. You know, he's active, he's involved. Uh, every play, you know, he, he gives good effort, and I think that's something. Again, you're looking if you're if you're looking in the first round, you're you're assessing the risk of some of these players, right? And I think that there's just a lot of traits that you know some teams really going to fall in love with and believe that they can continue to develop, you know, that pass rush ability. You know, there are some traits that he's flashed, and you know, he's shown some high level moments as a pass rusher. It's just going to be a matter of if they can get it out of him more consistently at the next level, and if they do. I mean, this is a this is a Pro Bowl player. If you're able to to get more pass rush productivity out of Miles Murphy, like you said, the one thing that's gonna have some down on teams is gonna be his motor. 
because uh, that's the one thing that most teams really fall in love with a guy that they don't have to coach him up of how to stay hungry and stay after it because in the NFL the, 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 the immediate access to the quarterback doesn't happen the way it does at the college level and sometimes you see these guys they get hungrier and more aggressive when somebody doesn't block them that rarely ha that, that really happens in the NFL so you got to go out and earn your sacks at the next level and it's going to be a uh, man you listen you're going to have to really be better than the guy in front of you you're going to be working moves working moves you got to set them up um you're going to have to work 10 snaps to get that one snap then you have the opportunity to get a sack and i would love to see this young man get to a program that has some really uh te technically sound coaches that can teach him some technique of how to really uh, maximize his potential because he has all the God-given talent. He's long. You said he's got he's got the body type. He's got everything you want to see in a in a in a, in a in elite top edge uh, producer off the edge at the defensive end position. Plays the run well. Uh, Miles Murphy is going to be a steal of the draft. Uh, the physical attributes that you typically see in a guy like Miles Murphy, they go in the first round. Oh. I think Miles Murphy's going in the first round. The edge rusher out of Clemson.